friends, it's Wednesday. I'm on my third cup of tea. My favorite mug is in the dishwasher. And I just finished my box. So, after I do this video, I'm going to do that video. And I got out wax. And it helped a lot. You guys are going to laugh when I tell you what I actually thought about using before somebody said wax. Vaseline! Not a lot, just a little. But that's what I was thinking. So thanks for the wax suggestion. If anybody, because I know a lot of you are, seem to be excited about this box. If anybody is really interested and wants to buy it, I want you to know that although the drawers don't slide brilliantly, and it takes two hands to get them open, um, to me, this is more of a keepsake box, something that you wouldn't open and close frequently. Like, I wouldn't store craft supplies in it, because that's something that you need to open and close easily. Um, but something to store important treasures. So, I'll tell that again in the video. I don't know why I felt compelled to say that right now, but I did. And, um... I talked to my BFF about opening an, a store, a craft store, like a real in-person retail craft store. And she was like, I have one word of why you don't want to do that. And I was like, okay. She goes, Amazon. <sighs> and I used a bad word. <laughs> My best friend is like really into bad words, so she was like, didn't face her in a bit. But I was just like, oh. you know, for me, I love going into that little craft shop across the street. I don't know why it took me so long to start actually going there, but I love going in there and finding little trinkets, little surprise things that you can't just buy online. And I like that randomness. You know, you go into Hobby Lobby, you know what's gonna be there, you know what you're gonna, you know, end up with. Um, and I told her, I said, you know, my idea would be, it wouldn't just be retail stuff, but it would also be, um, selling my crafts already made and giving classes and she's like giving classes I said yeah like you know like online tutorials she goes yeah why would they want to get dressed and go to a building to do that when they can watch tutorials online and you know that bummed me out too but then I thought you know Mostly crafters, I think, are older ladies, not necessarily these young kids that are all into techie stuff that do YouTube. Not everybody does YouTube. I don't know. Question of the week. How do you think it would go? Um, and then there's the camaraderie of other people that craft. And <sighs> I want to do it. Anyway. So we started talking and she's like, yeah, I've been thinking about what I'm going to do after grooming too. And she goes, I want to do, oh no, what I told her, I was like, well, my other idea is to do plan kids parties. She goes, oh, that would be really good in your area. Cause you know, people here in Denver are pretty wealthy. Um, I mean, I would never hire anybody for that cause I can do it myself, but there's a lot of people that can't do it. So... She's like, funny you would say that. She's like, I've always told Todd I wanted to do pony parties because she's a horse person. And so he started like, we were both looking online and stuff. I was like, oh my God, if you dressed it up like a unicorn, you can make even more money. And she's like, oh yeah, I've already thought of that. And there was a pony dressed up like Elsa. And I was like, I want to do pony parties too. Too bad we don't live in the same place because I could plan the parties and she could bring the ponies and it could be a team effort. So, anyway, want a quick look at the box? I'm not going to show you the top. Be 
do, do. It has feet. All right. You're going to see it before you see this anyway. I don't know what the big deal is. So in case you didn't watch the video, here's the front. Pretty. All right. So I'm going to tell you, guys, and I know a lot of you watch this channel, and I'm not going to call out the channel, but I'm going to say I was watching this channel of this I'm going to get out a razor blade and scrape glue off of my table while I talk to you um, I was watching this channel and I love this talented talented crafter I really really do uh oh uh oh <laughs> the handle came off my drawer Hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, extremely talented crafter. So I clicked on her video because I was excited to watch her new project. And it was beautiful, amazing project. Just, you know, mesmerized me. And as she's showing it, now, I've been watching her videos for a long, long time, and I've never seen her do this before. And I saw her do something I had recently done that was fairly unique. I think it's pretty unique. And I had done it with the same paper collection. And, you know, we all scrap lift ideas, but the whole thing about it is and there's been lots of videos on this. Just give credit to where you got your inspiration. She didn't do exactly what I did, but it was really, really similar. And it just, just give credit. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was kind of disappointed. I wasn't mad at all. I actually felt kind of... Um, Kind of honored that someone that I respect so much as a crafter and enjoy watching and everything would scrap lift for me. And I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe she didn't scrap lift it. Maybe she just thought of it and she did it. But just kind of weird that it's the same paper collection. And if you guys noticed, I just want you to say, I noticed <laughs> and let me know. All right, I am, this it has been, this glue has been on here for, it's time for me to get a new craft mat. It's kind of weird because this is a blue craft mat and I usually have pink. Anyway, that's as good as it's going to get without cutting one of my fingers off. So, I'm going to go for now. And I'm going to focus on showing you this. And oh my God, let me tell you, last night, I got some more paper, digital paper from Dreams, etc. And I am so excited. I am going to do a Titanic junk journal. And then I started thinking I should do a Dirty Dancing junk journal. I should do an Elvis junk journal. A Michael Jackson junk journal. I should do all kinds of themed junk journals that nobody else is doing. I, I searched on YouTube for Titanic journal, junk journals. And it brought up like three. And they weren't like ones that had been viewed very much. And I was like, yes, I'm excited. So her collection is called, I think it's called Vintage Voyage. I haven't downloaded it yet. They're in my email. Vintage Voyage. And it also has ephemera for the Titanic um, stuff. So, ah, so excited. 
No, seriously, not kidding. Stoked. All right. I'll be back. Bye. Good morning. And I thought I would show you this amazing sunrise on the day that Blake is leaving. I wish I could be here to document his whole day, but I have to go to work. But Honey took the day off, and they're probably all going to sleep in because Blake's not leaving till like 8 o'clock at night. He wants to drive during the night. And no, he's not going to Arizona for school or for work. He's going because he just doesn't want to be in Colorado anymore. And his cousin lives in Arizona. So, he's just going to start adulting in Arizona. Isn't that amazing? It looks like the whole skyline's on fire. Hey guys, I thought I would show you. This is what I've got going on. <coughs> this is the... I coffee dyed this. It was so difficult because it was beautiful white. <laughs> but it turned out real nifty um i also dyed this and i'm gonna do a fabric cover this is my my base i'm gonna do three signatures i don't know if i'm gonna use this because i'll have to obviously coffee dye this but it's really I think it would make a great um, cover <coughs> um, I'm just going to give you a little dose of what I'm working on there you go this is going to be pretty extensive I have really big plans as you can see and it's going to take me a while it is Thursday morning I've been up since 5 30 so I've been up for three and a half hours it's just after nine and I'm really looking forward to this journal so just thought I'd say hi see you later bye just got home Thursday night this is what's going on at my house Get to be on the vlog <laughs> so 60 boxes of chicken nuggets no it's 85 and they're the lunch boxes like this big well you're gonna look like a redneck in my truck a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... all right well, we'll see you later yeah and i have to be back at the house by seven because i told them to borrow my car to the case i could take it to work so you'll be back in an hour or so? Hopefully. Two? Okay. You can get to see Blake again. Ooh, that is a low riding vehicle. Thursday night, 648, and there is lots of stuff going on outside. I'm doing Blake's laundry for him, and um, yeah, he's leaving about 10 o'clock tonight. I am working on this. Yes, I, I love it. I am definitely making me a vintage Walking Dead junk journal totally doing it
I'm going to start making themed journals. Like, I'm doing dirty dancing, too. <laughs> having fun. Having fun. Um, so, anyway. It's going to be weird. Because I'm going to be able to clean the room across the hall. And it's going to stay that way. I told the... Uh, I told Honey this morning, I said, you know, I just want you to know when Blake actually goes to leave, I'm going to tease him and tell him that if he ever does have to come back, he is more than welcome, but he will be required to make his bed, no exceptions. That's the deal. You leave and have to come back, you have to follow the rules. I threw somebody out for not following the rules when they had to come back. So, look at this page, guys. So pretty. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm, ha I'm doing the fun part. I'm kind of stressing out about the part where I have to sew this stuff. But I did just go and, ah. I printed off some, um, what do you call this? Like, um, what do you call this? Quotes. Quotes. Oh, man. I wish I had put this on this page. Dang, nabbit. Oh, well. I'll figure it out. I am going to do a lot, a lot of work on this um, journal. And I was a little disappointed, I have to say. Um, somebody asked me about my, um, what am I trying to say? My ballet journal. And... I actually came down. I wanted $150 for it, and I quoted them $100 shipped. And that was too much for them. And I'm like, oh, I am not letting that thing go for less than $100. Not happening. So, I guess it will just... Ugh. Ugh. Where is it? Did I take it to the shop? I must have taken it to the... Oh, no, there it is. It's up there. It'll just stay there. So, I'm... I'm just having so much fun doing this, I can't even tell you. And I should probably stop talking, because if I'm talking, I'm not focusing, and I want to focus. I have Walking Dead on in the other room. I can hear it from here. And I'm going to hush now, but... I will have a lot to say tomorrow because guess what? I will actually be by myself all morning. Honey will be gone to work. And since there's no children here anymore after tonight, there won't be any children here. But Savannah and Mariana are coming this weekend. Um, I don't... I, I don't know if I mentioned we get shorter time with her until she's done with ballet class. We only get one night and Saturday night and Sunday. And then she has to go back Sunday. But if, you know, that's what we have to do in order to, um, for her to have ballet, well, then so be it. All right, guys. I got to go. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> No, she's video. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> That's mom. I have to document. Everybody's going to want to know how it went. When the Jolly Green Giant <laughs> drove away. I don't know. It's sad. <laughs> it's not sad. Tell them why you say so long. Because whenever my grandfather was killed... Um, my family started saying that instead of just saying bye, like bye has no set like time.
time when you're going to see that person again or if you're going to see that person again so long as like I'll see you again mm -hmm. like I'm going to see you again see dad we'll be back in May I'll keep you company till he comes <laughs> back <laughs> so um he'll probably be arriving tomorrow about four mm -hmm. and then uh he has to pull over every 45 minutes and call you. <laughs> no, because I'll probably go to sleep because he, every now and then he put a bottle of NyQuil next to the <laughs> So I'll probably do that. But um, no, then I'm probably going to uh, jump in the car and drive to Arizona to make sure he made it there. Okay, so I'll be there on Saturday is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Let's go, let's go see if we could see this car with this, <laughs> this U-Haul. I got a little video of it earlier. <laughs> I always stand up here when Shane leaves. He <sighs> wasn't close one. Last night was rough. Um, I have been through this. It is not traumatic for me for Blake to go. I'm excited for him. I've told you guys this. Um, honey, not so much. It was a difficult night for him. And, um, there was a lot of consoling. Blake did not leave until after 11. And, um, it was a late night. And, uh, it's just different for me. And sometimes Honey perceives that as though I don't care. And it's just not that way at all. It wasn't that way when either one of my children left. I was excited for them. I was happy for them. I was proud of them. Not always proud. Uh, not always happy for them. But you guys know the story. But uh, on a lot of levels, um, like when Shane left, you know, he... It was awesome. It was great. I was happy. Anyway, God bless his little soul. I told him, he's not dead. He's just moved. It's going to be okay. I did. And, you know, it was like he was getting angry that I was making light. And I, I wasn't making light. I was just trying to let him know that... It's going to be okay. So, um, anyway, that went on. And this morning, there was still a lot of trauma. Um, he almost didn't go to work. And I, um, you know, was like, okay. I need to be supportive. If you don't, if you don't feel like you can go to work, then don't go to work. And then uh, I told him, I was like, "Have you called him?" Because Honey gets ready. I leave him alone when he gets ready because he's a he's a grumpy morning person. Anytime, grumpy. And um, so I leave him alone. And. Um, you know, when he came in to say goodbye, I was like, did you call him? And he's like, no, not yet. I'm going to wait till I am. Um, I'm driving. So, you know, I'm like, look, you might feel better if you call him. Why don't you just call him? So he decided to go to work. And um, he called him. And then he, I said, I told him, I was like, after you talk to him, call me. So he called me. And I was like, how did it go? And he was like, he's good. He's, you know, at this location and he's doing good. And I'm like, see, don't you feel better? So 
anyway. Oh my gosh, I just got a text message that my cleaning people were on the way. And I knew they were coming because I've been getting the house ready all morning and I totally forgot. So, anyway, I'm kind of annoyed with my clean, my new cleaning girl who is really good at cleaning. She has done a fantastic job as far as um, things have been super, super clean. And I'm really happy about that. But our time management skills, not very good. Both of the last two times, she's called me and said, it's going to take us longer. I'm going to have to charge you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I told her last night when she uh, wanted to confirm, I said, um, I, I need this done in two hours. And she's like, well, your house, it may require two and a half. And I'm like, no, if it's going to require two and a half, I'm, I'm going to have to find somebody else. And then she was like, okay, well, let's see. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not paying more than two hours. It's two people for two hours. And all they got to do is... Our bedroom probably is the most work because we live in it constantly. Nobody hardly ever goes in the living room. We got a vacuum, a little bit of dusting. And of course the kitchen, nobody goes in the dining room because nobody eats at the dining room table. So the floor maybe needs to be vacuumed. And then the three bedrooms, just vacuumed. That's it. Just vacuumed. Now, today, all three bathrooms will need to be cleaned. But from here forward, I mean, honey's bathroom shower never gets used. Never. So that doesn't have to get clean. Just the toilet and the sink. Um, and then the bathroom that Blake was using will only get used twice a month. When Savannah and Rihanna are here. So it's not going to get really bad. And then there's ours. You know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why two people for two hours. If they are you know doing their job. Can't get it this house cleaned in that amount of time. That's four man hours. I had a cleaning lady for 11 years. Her and her husband or her and her daughter were the ones who came. And they always got it done in two hours. Sometimes they got it done quicker than that. And I still paid them for two hours. It's like, dude, dude, really? I don't know. Am I off my rocker? Somebody tell me. Are any of you housekeepers? Have you done housekeeping? I mean, you guys have seen my house. And it's not like my house is messy. I'm going to take you on a quick tour. Let's do that. Bye. Standing in the fort foyer. So, here is the front door. Here is the coat closet. So, as you walk in, you've got this piece of furniture here. You walk in, this long piece of furniture here. And I don't require that they take everything off and dust and all of that. No, no, no. Okay, so to the left is the sunken living room. This is stuff Blake left. Skylights. <laughs> okay, and then to the right is the kitchen. It's a modest kitchen. It's not a monster kitchen. This is my food order that came yesterday. And then as you wrap around here, this is the dining area, which like I said, nobody goes in there. Nobody eats there. The only person who ever goes in here is Donald Trump. That's it. I mean, I guess maybe I walk in here from time to time when I go to open the windows, but that's pretty much it. And this is a lot of stuff, but I tell them, dusting every other time. Doesn't even have to be every time. 
So then we go in here. This is the laundry room. All I got to do is do floors. That's it in the laundry room. Then we've got Honey's office. All they got to do in here is vacuum. Every other time dusting, vacuum. And Honey's, you know, he's kind of got still a mess going on because um, Blake had a bunch of stuff in here and he's got to, he's going to take these doors off and we're just going to make it curtains because his, his workbench is going to go in there for, ta-da, that's his first project. He said it's going to take him a year. There is his lovely lake and mountain view. All right. So he's got a TV, he's got a fireplace, there's his desk. So let's go down the hall. Sorry, I, I, I cleaned up Blake's room. Um, this is Blake's room. This room is going to get uh, painted because there was a... You guys, we got a new roof. You know that. There's, let me show you. This is damage from the roof leak. So this has to be repaired. And there's some in Honey's office, but it's not this bad. And that has to be done before May. So um, this room will be painted a really nice light bright color there's the view out of this room these are things that once the room is um, done I'm gonna hang up the boys had this fridge and that microwave in here I'm probably gonna take that fridge to the shop yeah I am I'm gonna take that fridge to the shop so then there's the craft room. Dun, dun, dun. There's doggies. There's a kitty up there. And there's the view out my window. I do have another window. I never talk about it because it just looks at the neighbor's house. And I've got these sheer curtains. Okay, so let's go back out the craft room. I forgot to show honey has a half bath and then we have this bathroom and then this is our room let me turn the TV off look what's next to honey's table okay so this is our room and I mean this is how it looks all the time it's it's pretty neat I mean I, I need to put some clothes away but it's this isn't neat, <laughs> but this is his little, you know, little neck of the woods. I mean, this is how it looks. So it's not like we're messy people. I mean, even our closet looks pretty good. Shoes up there, extra clothes, motorcycle stuff over there. Hmm, I'm going to have to talk to you guys about the motorcycle. I mean, yeah. All right, so do you see what I'm saying? Two people, two hours. Come on. Their big bed is... Angel threw up on it, so they got this little tiny bed right now. <laughs> and they look so sad and pathetic in it. And there's my Walking Dead stuff. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at these pictures from the wedding. You guys never got to see me at the wedding. So there's my mommy and my niece and her husband, my honey and me and the little princess. Doesn't she look adorable? If you think that was adorable, look at this. OMG. Oh, such a beautiful photograph. And they gave me these uh, as Christmas gifts. So... This used to be uh, a window that went into a hot room and it was part of the solar that brought heat into the house. But we got rid of that because we went um, with a boiler system. Anyway, 
Honey's going to turn this into a shadow box. And there's another one of these in the dining room, but it's covered up by, um, I don't know what you call it. But anyway, Honey had that cow, whatever, hide, cow hide. And um, I had the, the Indian dude. So we like the way that looks. And I, I have crafty stuff in our bedroom. This was made for me uh, by Faith Chick 777. Linda, are you watching? I hang, that, that is hung in my bathroom. Well, it's kind of like our bedroom because there's our bedroom and there's our bathroom. Uh, and this was made by Letty. Um, sweet peas, my little sweet peas on YouTube. And those are like my two favorite, favorite things. So they hang in here and, um, yeah, what else was I going to show you? Hmm. Seems like there was something I was going to show you, but we are, uh, you know, we're a gun family. We got one hanging right there. One nation under God. All right. Oh, I haven't shown this in a while. This is such an inspiration for me um, with that fairy dust collection. And I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure um, I will try to do something. Um, I don't have an actual photograph of that. I have this canvas and the other ones I have are like on thick, some kind of thick board. So they're hard to scrapbook, but probably I'll take a photograph of that and then I will do a layout or something. But yeah, that's Rihanna. That was while her mommy was gone. And one of the things I did to try to bring joy to her little sad heart at that time. All right, I'm going to go because they're going to be here and I need to put, take my pajamas off. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.